So I recently got my hands on the Tangerine Ring and it's really impressive, but it didn't take me long to realize that it's not for everyone. In fact, I think Tangerine made this ring for a very specific group of people and I just happen to be one of them. So before I got this ring, I'd been testing the prototype Tangerine Ring for a few months and I shared my initial thoughts in a previous video. And since then I've gotten a ton of feedback and had plenty of time to reflect not just on my own experiences, but also on what others have to say. And I couldn't help but think, why does this ring even exist? And I think I figured it out. The main concern I've heard from most people about the Tangem ring is its design, so let's start there. This is the world's first wearable crypto cold wallet. And right now it only comes in one color, a dark metallic shade that pairs well with pretty much anything but it's subtle enough that it won't draw any unwanted attention. The ring comes in sizes ranging from a US 8 to 13, and if your size isn't available, future batches should have more options. Also, if you don't know your ring size, you can either have a local jeweler measure your finger for you, they'll usually do it for free, or there's a video on Tangem's website that shows you how to measure your finger at home, I'll leave a link to it in the description along with a 10% discount code if you wanna check that out. It's made from cubic zirconia, which is a really smooth and durable material. It's actually used in the dental industry pretty often to make dental crowns. And for context, cubic zirconia ranks about eight to 8.5 on the hardness scale compared to a diamond, which ranks 10, 10 being the hardest, so the ring isn't going to break if you accidentally bang it on something. The ring is also IP68 rated, so it's completely waterproof and resistant to extreme temperatures. So it's almost indestructible, unless you're intentionally trying to break it. Maybe if you hit it hard enough with a hammer, you could do some damage, but other than that, there's no way that you're going to break this thing. It's also surprisingly comfortable, and not just because it's so smooth, but because it's super lightweight. It weighs a little more than a US quarter, and the band is about the width of four quarters stacked together, or about 7.8 to eight millimeters, depending on which size ring you get. Mine is a size 10, so this is as wide as it comes. But what matters most to me is that it fits snug and feels comfortable, and it checks both of those boxes. But the main complaint I've heard, mind you this is from people who don't even own the ring, is that wearing a crypto wallet on your finger will instantly make you a target which I understand a thought process behind this, but it's completely exaggerated. This concern only applies if you tell someone that you have a crypto wallet on your finger. If you don't tell them this is a cold wallet, they're never going to find out. It looks like any other ring you would buy. There's no markings of crypto or even the name Tangem on this ring. The only marking on it is the Tangem logo inside the band. So first you'd have to know the logo to recognize it. And second, it's actually really hard to see. I know it's there, but unless I'm in the right light, I can barely see it because it blends in with the metallic color. So unless someone is in the perfect lighting and is specifically looking inside the band, they probably wouldn't even notice the Tangem logo. That said, I truly believe that the Tangem ring is the most discreet cold wallet on the market. It's hidden in plain sight, which is the best hiding spot in my opinion, right next to burying something six feet deep in your backyard. Not that I've ever done that. And this is what I mean when I say the Tangem ring is for a very specific group of people. It's designed to go wherever you go. You don't have to bring anything with you. There's no battery in it. So you don't have to bring a bunch of cables along with you to charge it. It just exists on your finger and it's ready to go whenever you're ready to go. Now I don't travel a ton, but I do have some family in Mexico that I like to visit at least a couple times a year. And just because I'm not at my desk doesn't mean I don't want access to my crypto, but I don't wanna bring a hot wallet with me to manage my crypto because I don't really keep any crypto in a hot wallet. Uh, when I'm traveling or really ever for that matter. But the ring is different. It's just a ring, which means I could take it anywhere with me. I can go through airport security without being hassled or without becoming a target. And it's also resistant to x-ray machines, electrostatic discharge and EMPs. So it's literally the perfect crypto wallet for traveling or really any adventure. That's why I truly believe that Tangem designed this ring for people who are on the go or live a more active lifestyle. Not everyone who's into crypto lives in their grandma's basement and only comes up for Hot Pockets. A lot of us like to go outside and touch grass and that's why I think the Tangem ring exists. Now that's not to say that I have anything against living in a basement or eating Hot Pockets because I've lived in a basement and I like Hot Pockets. But my point is, why would you get a wearable cold wallet if all you're going to do is store it in your desk drawer or in your safe? You may as well save yourself $100 and just get the Tangem cards. And speaking of price, the Tangem ring costs $160 or you can get it for $144 if you use my discount code CyberScrilla at checkout. But even with the discount, I wouldn't say it's exactly cheap, especially when you can get a pack of two Tangem cards for only $50. But when you compare it to other wallets in the same price range like the Ledger Nano X, 
Trezor Safe 5, or Keystone 3 Pro, the Tangem Ring holds its own, especially since it comes with two backup cards. And no, you can't buy the ring separately. Tangem requires at least one backup to set up a wallet, which is why it includes two backup cards, and I'm not sure they'll ever sell the ring without at least one backup card in the package. And if you're wondering whether you can add the ring to your current Tangem wallet, Tangem will tell you no, but I found a workaround, but it only works if your current Tangem wallet is set up with a seed phrase. If they are set up with a seed phrase, here's what you do. Just go into the Tangem app and tap settings, select add new wallet, scan your ring, tap on other options to bring up the seed phrase options, and then select import wallet. Then just enter the seed phrase from your current Tangem cards, and there you go, your ring is now tied to your current Tangem wallet. But if your current Tangem wallet is set up without a seed phrase, then you have no choice but to create a new wallet with your Tangem ring and then transfer your crypto from your old Tangem wallet to your new Tangem ring. You may have noticed when I scanned the ring, it wasn't on my finger, and this is intentional and is often the second biggest complaint I hear about the Tangem ring, you have to take it off to scan it for wallet setup or transaction approvals. But this is done by design for two reasons. Reason number one, if you didn't have to take the ring off your finger, every time you held your phone with that hand, your phone would prompt you to open the Tangem app, which would get pretty annoying pretty quickly. Second, it prevents nearby phones and potential skimmers from scanning your ring, which wouldn't be a huge issue, but it could give you a way if every phone you got near prompted people to download the Tangem app or open the Tangem app if they already had it on their phone. So if taking the ring off your finger is that big of a deal to you, then this wallet isn't for you. Just stick to hot wallets. Harder wallets are for people who want to secure their crypto and are willing to put in a little extra effort, something as simple as taking a ring off your finger, to secure their crypto. And while we're on the topic of usability, let's talk about how user-friendly the Tangem Ring really is because this is where the Tangem Ring really shines. If you've used the Tangem cards before, then you already know what to expect because the Tangem Ring works exactly like the cards. If you haven't used Tangem before, then you're in for a treat, especially with all the upgrades they've rolled out. Setting up the ring only takes a few minutes using an NFC compatible iOS or Android mobile device because Tangem is a mobile only cold wallet and you have a few options for setting up this wallet. To get started, just open up the Tangem app on your phone, scan your ring and choose to set it up without a seed phrase or by creating a new 12 or 24 word phrase. You can also import an existing seed phrase from another wallet if you have one. If you go with the import option, you can also import or create a passphrase, also known as a hidden wallet, by entering whatever you want it to be. After that, just scan your backup cards and you're all set to go. On another note, the Tangem app is my favorite crypto wallet app. It's very straightforward. It's easy to use, even if this is your first cold wallet. Plus, with Tangem releasing new updates and features every month, it only continues to get better. Tangem also continues to partner with new decentralized and centralized crypto exchanges that allow you to buy, sell, and swap various coins directly in the app using your ring. And now you can even stake your crypto right in the app and as of now, only a few select coins can be staked, but in the coming months, there will be a lot more options. Something else Tangem recently added is live market data. So you can search for a specific token or just pick one from your portfolio to view important metrics. This includes a live chart, a description of the coin, recent insights like new holders, liquidity and buy pressure, market cap data, and pretty much anything else you'd wanna know about a token. So literally anything you want or need to do with your crypto, you can do it all in the Tangem app with the security of your ring. And in most cases, you don't even need to use a crypto exchange anymore, which is a huge bonus in my book. And you might think that something this user-friendly wouldn't be secure, but you'd be wrong. Tangem has sold nearly 2 million wallets since 2017, and not a single one has been hacked. And since the Tangem ring uses the exact same components as the Tangem cards, it's just as secure. Tangem wallets only come with two components, and that's one reason why Tangem comes with a 25 year product replacement warranty. The first component is an NFC antenna that you use to connect with your phone in the Tangem app. And the second component is an EAL6 Plus Secure Element chip where your wallet's private key is stored. And this chip protects your wallet's key from digital attacks like malware and physical brute force attempts. Another security feature, when you first set up your wallet, you create an access code. This code is required every time you wanna access your wallet through the Tangem app, which stops anyone from just picking up your ring or backup card and using it on their phone. But as long as you have at least one backup card or your seed phrase, you'll always be able to access your crypto. Another crucial aspect of Tangem security is their audit is the Tangem app is 100% open source, meaning anyone can review its code, but the firmware is closed source. So it's important to note that Tangem has undergone two independent security audits by third-party firms, 
both confirming there are no backdoors or vulnerabilities. But we can't forget about network and coin support. Tangem is always expanding, and I'd argue they're one of the most active when it comes to adding new blockchain networks. At the moment, the Tangem ring supports over 70 blockchain networks and thousands of coins with new networks being added every single month. But no matter how good the Tangem ring is, it still isn't going to be for everyone. And I get it, not everyone needs to carry around their crypto wallet with them 24 seven. But if you do want instant access to your crypto, there's literally nothing better than the Tangem ring. So I think if you live an active lifestyle, but you still wanna manage your crypto in a secure environment while you're on the go, the Tangem ring is an easy choice. But if you only pull your harder wallet out of your safe spot, maybe once every month to check on things, then the Tangem card is going to be the better choice and you save yourself a hundred bucks. And you can check out my in-depth one year review of the Tangem cards in this next video. I'll see you over there. God bless. Peace out.